The demonstration shown in this video is intended to provide an overview of an installation of a 3M ScaleGuard FSTM 075 reverse osmosis water filtration system. Prior to actual installation and use of any 3M product, it is important to read and understand the product installation and use instruction manual. First, unpack the contents from the product box and confirm that all components are included. Included should be the tank and bracket assembly, the tubing installation kit, the sample valve kit, SGLP 075 membrane cartridge with the SFC flow control, and the 3M ScaleGuard RO prefilter cartridge. If any of the components are missing, please contact 3M SPSD customer service at 1-866-990-9785. The recommended tools for completing the FSTM 075 RO installation are a level, pencil, tape measure, wrench, screwdriver, tubing cutter, air pressure gauge, drill, and drill bit sized for the mounting hardware supplied by the installer. Remember, you need to read and understand the installation and use manual prior to installing the system. Select a location to mount the FSTM 075 RO unit. It is recommended to have 6 inches of clearance on all sides of the unit for access for tubing installation and cartridge changeout. Draw a level line at the location of the two mounting screws for the unit bracket. Mark the mounting screw locations on the line 7 inches apart. Drill holes for the mounting hardware on the two marks on the level line. Install the mounting hardware and attach the FSTM 075 RO unit to the wall. The mounting hardware for the FSTM 075 RO needs to support 30 pounds, which is the wet weight of the RO unit. Remove the blue cap from the tank diaphragm Schrader valve and using a tire pressure gauge, check the air charge in the tank. Adjust the air charge to 8 to 10 PSI. When the air charge is correct, replace the blue tank diaphragm Schrader valve cap. Remove the 1 quarter inch plug from the drain fitting on the SGLP 075 membrane cartridge. Install the SFC flow control, which is a small piece of red tubing included with this cartridge, into the drain fitting. Next, moisten the membrane cartridge o-rings with water and insert the membrane cartridge into the back head on the unit bracket. Be sure the ears on the membrane cartridge line up with the spaces in the cartridge head. Turn the membrane cartridge one quarter turn to the right until it stops in the membrane head. Remove the red cap from the prefilter cartridge. Moisten the O-rings on the prefilter cartridge with water and insert the prefilter cartridge into the prefilter cartridge head. Be sure the ears on the prefilter cartridge line up with the spaces in the prefilter head. Turn the prefilter cartridge one quarter turn to the right until it stops in the prefilter head. Using the installation plumbing diagram as a guide, install all tubing and fittings on the FSTM 075 RO unit. Now cut a piece of the 3 8 inch blue tubing, which is included. Connect one end to the outlet fitting on the RO unit and the other end to one side of the water sample valve assembly. Turn off the sample valve and equipment shutoff valve. Connect the feed water line to the water supply. Be sure the water inlet valve and tank valve are turned off. Remove the short piece of green tubing from the inlet water valve and connect the water line from the water source to the inlet water valve. Install the equipment water line. Remove the membrane cartridge from the unit. 
Install the red one quarter inch drain tubing included with the unit into the SFC flow control and reinstall the membrane cartridge into the unit. Run the drain tubing to a drain. Remove the short length of one quarter inch blue tubing from the sample valve and install the required length of one quarter inch tubing to the sample valve. Make sure the one quarter inch tubing is long enough to reach the drain. Open the inlet water valve and the water sample valve and allow water to flow to drain to flush the cartridges in the system according to the instructions in the 3M FSTM 075 performance data sheet. After flushing the system, close the sample valve and remove the one quarter inch tubing used for the unit flush and replace the short length of blue tubing. The reject water from the drain fitting on the membrane cartridge will continue to run to drain while the RO unit is operating. When the tank is full of RO water, the unit will shut off and the reject water flow to drain will stop. Open the tank valve and allow the FSTM 075 RO unit to operate for 60 minutes to fill the tank and cycle off. Open the water line to the equipment shutoff valve. Don't forget to write the installation dates on both the pre-filter and membrane cartridges. It's important to remember to replace both the pre-filter and membrane cartridges during scheduled maintenance. The FSTM 075 system is now ready for use.